We're in Word 2019, Jasper Active Lesson 5, Navigating with References. All right, in this one, we're going to practice um, moving around in our document and adding some hyperlinks and changing some styles. So the first thing we want to do is make sure we have the New Adventures Approved document open. We're going to go up here to the View tab. And then in the show group, I'm going to check the navigation pane button. Now you can open this navigation pane in different ways. You can use a keyboard shortcut, which is control F that will open this up um, on the results tab. When you open up in the navigation pane or in the show group on the view tab, it will bring you to the headings option. So we're going to follow along with what Jasper says. So making sure we're doing view tab, navigation pane, and what we're going to see in our navigation pane over here is that it's on the headings tab and you'll see we have new adventures, Alaska hiking, backpacking in India and drive the Nurbur Nurburgring. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but um, what you're going to see about new adventures is that we have a heading here. And then each of the things underneath it, those are all subheadings. And as I click on them, it will move me through the document to where those are. All right, so in the navigation pane, um, we're going to go ahead, we're going to click on the Home tab here. And then we're going to go over to the Styles group. Um, we're going to see, so when we're looking at it, if our cursor is here in New Adventures, when we go up to the styles panel, we're going to see that heading one is already selected for us, right? So we know that the heading one style has been applied here. Over in the navigation pane, I'm going to click on backpacking in India. And now what I'm going to see is heading one is not selected, but if I click on my more button, it will show me that heading two is selected. And that's also why this is indented. Right, so there's an increase indent um, on the different levels of headings that you have. All right, we're gonna mark that one as answered and go to step two. So in the document, we're gonna click the hyperlink below backpacking in India. And we're gonna apply heading three to this. So home tab, styles group. Here's our styles gallery. I'm gonna click the more button. And I'm going to hover over heading three. I'm going to go ahead and actually click on that. Okay, so over in our navigation pane, what you're going to see now, so I've got heading one style. These are all heading two styles. Heading three style now is indented even more. I'm not going to keep that there. So up on my quick access toolbar, I'm going to click undo. Mark is answered and go to step three. Um, we want to move to the end of the document quickly by using a keyboard shortcut. So click into your document somewhere, press and hold the control key, and then tap the end key, so E-N-D. And that'll move your cursor all the way down to the bottom. Mark is the answer is step four. So we're gonna add our own hyperlinks to this. Okay, so putting our, making sure we have our cursor in the right spot. The first thing we wanna do is press enter. All right, again, making sure we're following Jasper and um, the directions exactly because um, it's looking for those clicks. And then we're going to type for status on these new adventures, go to, and then we're going to type in this web address. However, for, uh, to save some time, I can actually select the text that's here, go up to copy selected text, Click back of my document, I can right click and choose the paste option. Now paying close attention to the instruction, at the end it also wants me to press enter. So something you're going to notice is that right now it's all plain text, but once I hit enter, that web address, the link becomes active. So now I could click on it um, while holding the control key and I could access that website. All right, so we're going to try that now. Um, so I'm, oh, actually, we're going to use uh, the control K function. So put your cursor somewhere in this web address, press and hold control, 
and tap the letter K. And this is going to open up um, the hyperlink or the links dialog box for us. Um, what it's going to do, because we already have a link there, it's going to link us to an existing file or web page, and it's going to show the text that's currently being displayed in the document. And then down at the bottom where it says address, that's our web address. We're going to change the text that we see in the document. So up here in this field, I'm going to click and drag to select all of that. And then I'm going to type instead marketing updates. So now what's going to happen is when I hit OK, instead of seeing a web address in my document, I will see the text marketing updates, but it will still be a link. So I'm going to click OK. All right, now here's the text, but you'll see it's still a hyperlink. Mark has answered, go to step five. So for step five, on the next line, we're going to type web up, website updates. So let me move down to this next line. Website updates colon www.tolanoadventures.com. I'm just going to click and drag to select the text that's bold, click the copy selected text button, click my document, and then right click and paste that text. Now at the end, I'm going to hit enter. So that's going to activate this link for me. And this time we're actually going to click this link open. So if you hover over it, you will see it tells you to press control and then click the link. So let's do that. I'm going to press and hold control. Now you'll see my cursor changes to a little hand. And if I click on that, it should open up a new website. And this website's just been created for these Jasper Active activities. All right. And then close that web browser and return back to your document. So Mark has answered. For step six, uh, we're going to insert a bookmark. Okay, so we're going to use our navigation pane over here. And I'm going to use the search field to find where it says factors in my document. So once I type that word, it's going to search through and it's going to find any results. And if I click on the results tab over here, it will also show me the text. And if I hover over it, you'll see it will show me what section that's in. I'm going to put my cursor right here at the beginning of the word factors. We're going to go up to the insert tab and over to the links group. And this just isn't, this isn't just for hyperlinks. I'm going to insert a bookmark. So I'm going to click on bookmark. It's going to open up a dialog box for me, and I'm going to type in factors, and then I'm going to click add. So I'm adding a bookmark to my document that is factors. So if I want to get back to this site really quickly or this spot in my document, I can find it um, using the bookmarks, which is what we're going to do next. So this mark is answered in step seven. So first, we're going to put our cursor at the top of the document using control home. So press and hold control and tap the home key. This will move your cursor all the way to the top of the document. Now we're going to use the keyboard shortcut for the go to function. So press and hold control, tap the letter G. And this is going to open up the find and replace dialog box, but it will be on the go to tab. It's going to ask you, go to what? And you can decide what items you want to go to. I'm going to go to bookmarks. And then here you'll see a drop down. I only have one bookmark in this document. So, of course, that's the one I'm going to. I'm going to click go to. And this is going to take my cursor directly to that spot. You can kind of see in the background here. And then I can close this dialog box. So when you add bookmarks, you can't really tell in the document is something that happens in the background, but it's a good way to be able to access um, your information or spots in your document really quickly if you don't want it to be a specific section or a heading. So mark is answered and submit.